Today I want to show you a trick I learned or, or was taught to me uh, many, many moons ago. I think I was 19 years old when I lost a $20 bet on this little challenge. So the challenge here is using just a square and a compass uh, and a writing instrument is to make an accurate protractor uh, that is viable to use on the job site. So I've actually gone ahead and set this out, but I'm going to show you exactly how it was constructed. So I ended up using, you have to have a very large compass for this one, which I happen to have. And I went ahead and used two compasses because you have to reset the compass twice or, or reset it once. So to start off with, you have to start with your 90 degree angle, which I drew out. And now this angle has to, the legs of the angle have to extend past 23 inches. So when you draw this one, this one will reach. When you draw this one, you have to extend this leg over so that it goes past 23 inches. Once that's done, then you can set that out of the way. Now, for the pro, or excuse me, for the compass itself, this is where accuracy is at a premium. You have to set the compass to exactly 22 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. Once you have established that, you set your compass up and I drew a full arc along that 90 degrees all the way around. Then before you move the compass, you'll take it and you go to each point and you'll strike an arc, which I did going in both directions. What that will do is pick up your zero, 30, 60 and 90 degrees. At that point, you reset your compass to four inches, which in my case, I just use a different compass. And starting from the 90, you'll strike an arc this way, and then go to the 60, strike an arc the other way. By going both directions, you kind of make it a little bit more accurate. Because if you're off just slightly, you're gonna be off less if you strike it from either side, as opposed to striking it here, and then moving to this one and striking the next one. And then we do that on every one of these. So we'll strike an arc from this side to here, this side to here, and then this side to here, and this side to here. And that picks up the 10 degrees at exactly four inches along that 22 and 15 16 arc. And then all you have to do is connect them back to your start point over here, and that will pick up, uh, like I said, every 10 degrees. Now you can go further with this, and you can use your compass to bisect each one of these in order to pick up each one of the five degree marks if you so desire. But I left it at 10 degrees and we're gonna put, uh, I'll tell you what, let me reset the camera here. I'm gonna set a protractor down there and show you just how accurate this can be. So this is the largest protractor that I have at the moment and I'm gonna zoom in here on just a minute, but I wanted to show you just how accurately you can get this. So I went ahead and marked these out uh, every 10 degrees and we'll take a little closer look at this. So theoretically, if you do this exactly, 22 and 15 16 inch on the arc, and then reset your compass to four inches uh, for, for to pick up the 10 degree arc swings, you can get this accurate within five thousandths of an inch for every 10 degrees. So let me get a close up and show you just how close I got. So for the most part, I got everything pretty accurate from what I can tell, the 10, 20, 30 is just barely off, the 40s right on, 50 and 60 are right on. The one I really got off the worst, and it's it's minute, it's like a quarter degree, is the 70 degree mark. And it's because I didn't actually put that line correct where I didn't go through the point out there on the arc exactly perfect. The 80 degree is right on the money, and obviously the 90 degree is right on the money. So this is a, a little trick that cost me $20 a very, very long time ago. Maybe you can use it to, to win a bet on the job side as well. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. See you in the next one.